Yeah, welcome to the greatest YouTube channel on earth. This is the end of streets. You know what I mean? I'm UG. Today we want to talk about Lil Wayne. He offered financial help, financial freedom, we should say, to an ex New Orleans police officer that helped him out back in the day. R. Kelly's back in the news. His thing is mad serious. His thing is getting deep. You know what I mean? King Vaughn, his family and friends trying to keep his memory alive. Um, Wack One is throwing shots at Louis Farrakhan and Meek Mill and Jimmy Wupo. His clique, you know, is in some problems. The baby, you know, he's back in the news, you know, making some crazy posters and stuff. We get into all that right after this break. Yeah, so first of all, deck, you know, is my man Lil Wayne. You know, Lil Wayne is one of the greatest rappers of all time. When Lil Wayne was like 12 years old, you know, he tried to commit suicide. And this former, now former, um, New Orleans police officer, Uncle Bob, or Robert Hoover, saved his life, you know what I mean? Um, Lil Wayne attempted suicide, you know. Um, Uncle Bob basically gave him, basically saved his life, but he gave him some strong words of encouragement not to give up, to, you know, keep strong, keep going, keep moving, you know what I mean? So... They ran into each other again in 2019 at a radio show. And Lil Wayne offered to basically take care of this man for his rest of his life, financially. You know what I mean? Being grateful for what he did for him. But we're grateful for what he did for him because he, we all know Lil Wayne's one of the greatest. Lil Wayne have hits after hits after hits. You know, from Hot Boys to um, Cash Money, Young Money, all of that. You know what I mean? Lil Wayne been doing his thing. Lil Wayne... He put in work, you know what I mean? We're glad that this officer stepped up and saved his life back then because not too many officers would have did that. And we're glad that this officer did that, you know what I mean? This, now we got this man, Lil Wayne, where we could be thankful for a lot of great music. Lil Wayne himself is thankful to this former police officer, you know what I mean? For giving him the chance to grow up to make these hits and reach the level of success that he has right now. So we got that going. We, we, we glad for that. And Lil Wayne, glad you, you know what I mean? You could see better because you know i like it shows maturity it shows that you know what i mean you appreciate what people did for you you know what i mean you, should, you appreciate this man this, this help that this man gave you saving your life and then you would reach a level of success that you probably wouldn't have reached if you would have went through a suicide you know what i mean so we're very glad for, we're very very thankful for that you know what i mean um r kelly <laughs> what can i say people this is getting deep allegedly r kelly knowingly gave a lot of women herpes. R. Kelly contracted herpes in 2003. And since then, he's been having sex with a lot of underage. That's what he's being charged for, a lot of underage sexual assaults. And it's not looking good because a lot of women right now come forward, ready to te they're going to testify that R. Kelly normally gave them herpes. You know what I mean? And his lawyer, they're saying that herpes and HIV is not bad. I don't know which planet this man lives on, but um, dude, you know what I mean? If somebody gives somebody these diseases, these are non-curable diseases, HIV, herpes, these are non-curable diseases, but you mean they're not that serious, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, I, I, I can't even put into perspective what this lawyer is thinking about trying to use that as a defense. In R. Kelly's case, R. Kelly's currently going to court now for the Aaliyah incident that you know took place back in the day when he got married to Rio, and they got you know you know his sex was involved, blah blah blah. And since 2003, since R. Kelly caught, contracted the, the herpes virus, he been having sex with a lot of people who protected me. So the woman is saying they, he knowingly gave it to him because they, he knew he had it and he, he chose to have sex unprotected. Yes, it's a two way street. The woman should have said, "Yo." Use a condom. But you know groupies. They see a they see an entertainer with a clock on a Kelly gun. They they, they want to get pregnant. They want they want to have something to hold on to, you know what I mean? So it's a two way street on that. But R. Kelly should have known better as a man and said, yo, I can't get down like that because you know yeah, you know I mean I'm affected by Um R. Kelly man, this thing that you're going through, I know it ain't easy. You know, we uh, a lot of people might not know about your childhood that you were sexually assaulted yourself when you were younger. Um, this thing it shouldn't be the reason why you the reason why you're hurting people if you're intentionally doing it. You know, what I mean, um, 
But we gotta we gotta get more on the story. But like I said, right now we have a lot of women who's about to testify against R. Kelly saying that he only gave him. R. Kelly, man, you're a good musician, you're a good artist, man. You write some good songs over the years, not for yourself, but even for even for Michael Jackson. A lot of people might not know this, but you know, it would be, I don't know. I, we can have to get more information on this and show it in another video at a later time. Because this this is terrible right now. Can you see it right now? I'm telling you, he's really facing some stuff right now. Um, King Von, rest in peace. Um, the people from this community, they're trying to get a, a portrait that was painted on the wall of King Von. You know, the police department, they want to take it down. They say it might incite gang violence because King Von is one of the black disciples and they're, they're afraid that rival gang members might take this as some disrespect and want to retaliate or, you know, cause problems or whatever, whatever. The people are trying to get a petition going to keep it up. You know what I mean? Because they want to keep the memory of the steward alive. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? The great Nipsey Hussle, he's from a different side that I'm from, you know. And he got a picture up of himself, rest in peace, Nipsey. And nobody from neither side violated that. Only only a stupid person would even, even think about trying to violate a memory of somebody that did some good. I'm not saying Vaughn didn't have his uh, his demons, because we all do when we run in the streets. We have our demons. We have our bad side. But the man did some good in the community, too, is the people who put up a portrait of it. You know what I mean? So we're going to get some more info on that story, too. And, Come back on a later video with that, you know, the, the, the ups and downs of that. If they police really take it down, or if the people got enough petition to keep it up, you know. And other news, Wack 100, he went head up with um, emails on the clubhouse. He dismissed emails, I guess it was in sight of 69. Um, then Louis Farrakhan went that, you know, he got involved saying he wanted to have a sit down with him. And, you know, Wack 100 went out and out saying, I don't F with this. You know, and I eat pork and all this crap. But from my sources, they tell me that this thing was incited by 6 ix 9 And I mean, whack, you're a big man, you're a boy, man. We're from both sides. We're from the same side, B line. I don't need to say no more. Um, this dude, 6 ix 9 man, he's not, he's not straight. Bro. You know what I mean? You don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Yes, people might have took advantage of him, but guess what? He was taking advantage of him too because he was using him as protection from the dirt he was doing cloud chasing and trolling and all this stuff. So he knew what he was getting into. You know what I mean? So when shit hit the fan, don't try to act like you don't know what it was. You knew what it was from day one. Yes, people did might have did him wrong. All they were supposed to be protecting him, but he did he put people in jeopardy by some of the stuff he did. He brought a lot of heat and a lot of attention to these people also. Anyway, we have a we have an update on the story later on. You know what I mean? Well, man, um, Jimmy Whoopo, rest in peace. Uh, right now, police got a couple of his people, well, a couple of them to plead is their sentence. Um, um, Dante Griffin and Richard Kelly. Dante, he got six and a half. Griffin got 10. You know, um, yeah, they, this was Rico Act from 2018. So it's like they took a plea deal for um, charges of racketeering, murder, and weapon charges. And according to the prosecutors, the federal prosecutors, there's some more of his gang that they're gonna get they're gonna get at too because, you know, they're looking at a lot of people. So yeah, um it don't look pretty, man. We got we just gotta keep it going, man. We gotta make our streets safe. Um, I, like I said, I used to run the streets. And when you're running the streets you don't see the harm it does. You know what I mean? But um after a while when you get older you look at certain things and like, man, you do all this foolishness. And right now I'm telling you you only catch you, I take it to the extreme. You know what I mean? Cause nobody fist fighting no more. Most everybody wanna do now is shoot. You know what I mean? And it's getting out of hand for real, for real. You know what I mean? In other news though, my man the baby, he made a post, you know, this week on his Instagram saying, Yo, he's about to quit rap with the RB saying. It was all fun and joke. He not really gonna do that. He was just doing it to keep a sense of heel on his fans, you know what I mean? The baby he he's one of the best so far. I've seen in a long time. You know what I mean? His style, his lyrics, everything, you know what I mean? Um this controversy thing that happened to Roll the Loud. Yeah, the, the man says something, but in my opinion, that's his opinion. You know what I mean? Maybe he shouldn't have said it on that broad of a stage or, you know, but come on, man. Y'all stop this man from doing the shows. Y'all causing this man a lot of financial losses. You know what I mean? The man apologized for it three times. Y'all said the man apologized.
apology. S -s Sincere enough. Since then, he took down the apologies off his page. You know what I mean? But I need to give the dude a chance. You know what I mean? Y'all going at it kind of hard for some comments. A lot of people made comments. You have a lot of singers that made racist comments. You have a lot of people that made sexual comments. And they still performing. They still making their money. Yes, say y'all blocked this man from doing most of his shows because of some comments that he made. You know what I mean? You gotta live and let live, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm just saying, yo, enough respect to the baby who continue doing your music, but you got a lot you got a lot of fire in you, you got a lot of years of music in you. Keep doing your thing, man. Don't try to stay away from the negative comments. Try to stay away from the negative because of the negative comments. You know what I mean? Because even me while I'm doing my show, I gotta be careful what I say because I don't know who might watch my show and decide like, oh yeah. You know, he, he, he's hating on this person or he's hating on that group of people. I ain't got no problem with nobody. You know what I mean? I ain't got no problem with nobody. I'm just keep back relaxing. Well, people, it's another edition of Industries. Like I said, we got to live to let live. Our opinions are opinions. And certain times our opinions affect people and our actions also affect people. But we got to keep it real ourselves first before we can keep it going out there other people you know what i mean and on that note i'll see you next time god bless y'all be safe